Hello guys, how are you? So today I wanted to share with you in my chair. I'm actually recording in a little corner in my workroom just because I have a ton of mess. I'm going to be sending out a package to a YouTube friend. We're doing a birthday swap. Our birthday was on March 2nd and we were swapping um, an ATC card and a, and a name sign so we can use in our video so this is just a little extra and the reason why I did this is because I wanted to share with her one of my favorite creatures which is definitely a peacock and this is an, a free downloadable image that was available in Yahoo and um, my sister-in-law showed it to me I asked her to send it to me and then I just printed it and this is a three by five that I printed and then I supported it with a with a um, right here I supported it with a green like a forest green cardstock from Mariposa if you guys seen my ATC card from Picasso this is the actual one that I used I used this one to ink up my card and everything else and I hate to throw stuff out so I decided to use it as a support for this 3x5 because it's just in printing paper and it was so finely thin that I didn't want it to get damaged so I ended up supporting it with this in the back and um, I just ripped it up so it gave it that cringe look and then right behind it since it's a peacock I decided to oh, focus focus let's see my camera's being okay since I decided to since I went with the beautiful peacock feathers I decided to incorporate this beautiful peacock paper and now this is part of the recollections and this is the animal kingdom animal kingdom and this is the design that I'm using right here now this paper stack was given to me for Christmas by my sister-in-law and it's the it's just like an inside joke because I love animal print and I want everything animal print. I'm always wearing animal print, animal print shoes, animal print pants, everything. I'm just animal print. I love patterns and all that stuff. So that's why she gave me this and I decided to take advantage of it and use that beautiful paper to incorporate it on this project. So here it is. Here's the piece of paper that I'm using. And it went perfect with this beautiful lady. Now, the canvas, this is just a canvas. And it's and I just inked it up with so many different inks. I added green. I added green to match with the girl. There was green in there. So I added green to it. I added blue. I added red. I added periwinkle it's just so many different colors in there and the camera really doesn't show but if you look deep in it it's like, like you can see the green the blues you can pick up all the colors and I just pretty much splashed it and my fingers were pretty much the paintbrush so that's what I basically did I just did it mixed medias different medias I, I use gesso, I use acrylics, I use inks, I use sprays, I use so many different things to give it like a, I don't know, it's just the look that it has. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. So this was like a love-hate relationship with this canvas. So then I finally got this image and I decided to just add the green to it and the periwinkle, which is what shows up right here and to kind of match it up with the beautiful picture of the girl and then what I did was just put some leaves right here some silver leaves to make them look like feathers and I love the way it's coming out of her hair because it actually does look like feathers and then some big bling here that somebody gave me I really don't remember who gave me this, but somebody gave me this big bling and I decided to add it there. And then these letters here, my sister-in-law gave me for my birthday. She die cut me so many letters. So I ended up using it 
to put beauty just because that's what I feel this canvas defines just beautiful just because she's beautiful and the peacock is such a beautiful bird and it's just gorgeous and then these are just a bunch of flowers that I got I think my sister-in-law gave them to me too I don't know she thinks she did and I just decided to pile them up and pile them up and then just added some other little flowers in between these little flowers in between and then in those that didn't have it I ended up using um, this that Laura gave me Laura loves lace now she gave me last year in a swap and I actually ended up using that here so it's all of these little things that I ended up using and then these here are little hearts that I got as well. I don't remember who gave them to me, but I got these beautiful butterflies and these little hearts. And I ended up adding them in this butterfly and this one here and then this one here. And then this one here I had covered it and I had this little one and I just added it so it made it look dimensional. Like 3D, it looked really pretty. And then here I go with the flowers. These flowers were just white and um, instead of spraying them, I decided to just, you know, sprinkle the paint all over. I didn't want them to be perfect. I wanted them to look like tainted and stained and that's exactly how it looks. You see there's some white and that's the look that I was going for. I wasn't looking for perfection. I was just looking for a splash, like if the rain fell and it dyed them. The same with the purple ones, and these are just with homemade inks. I stained them, and that's about it. And then here is this one that Laura Loves Lace gave me too last year in our swap, so I decided to add it here. And I think we're set. I think I got everything. So I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you. Sorry about my messy fingers. It's just I've been so busy. Alright guys. Take care. Bye.